Good morning, everyone. This is Dana from NextGen, and I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend. April is Financial Literacy Month, and today we are going to do a wealth case study on Tracy. Tracy is 25 years old, which would put her in the Generation Z cohort. Now, if you don't know about the generational cohorts, I am going to include a link up at the top and also in the description. Her parents are Generation X, and she has a married millennial sister named Jamie. When Tracy graduated from high school in 2016, she simultaneously earned an associate's degree through the dual enrollment program. Now, this program is sometimes called early college access, and I will include information about the Maryland program in the description below. Now, other states offer this program as well. And one of the, well, there's a couple of reasons why she did this is one, she wasn't quite sure what her major was going to be or if she would even uh, want to go to college. That was the first thing. And then also her parents did not want to have the commitment of paying for her to go to school just to find out that was not something she wanted to do. So after she graduated, she did an internship with an accounting firm that not only offered certifications, but also tuition assistance. So if she decided that she wanted to go pursue her bachelor's degree, then she can get the tuition assistance through her employer. Tracy has no consumer debt. She budgets, she saves half of her take-home pay, and she pays her credit card bill in full every month. Now her sister Jamie gave her her car as a graduation gift. So Tracy does not have a car payment. And even though she lives with her parents while she's working at the accounting firm, Tracy contributes to the household, which includes her portion of the car insurance and cell phone bill. And this is her gross income. Balance is important to Tracy. So we're going to be reviewing her wellness dimensions. Tracy is active in her church and she enjoys working with the youth ministry. She takes vacations with her family every year and staycations every quarter. She enjoys arts and crafts, skating, and bowling with her friends. Quality of life and financial literacy are important to Tracy and she is open to improving. The reason why I have 2018 goals was because that's when Tracy sat down with her parents to discuss living independently. Now she knew she could not rely on her accounting W-2 income. Now while she enjoyed her employer's benefits, she knew she could not solely rely on her ability to perform. So she researched ways to have multiple streams of income, specifically passive income. Now, her salary, when her salary increased, so did her savings because she was sensitive to lifestyle inflation. And we're going to be talking about lifestyle inflation um, later on. So Tracy did her financial planning around how much she would need to live independently. Now, Tracy was concerned that living independently could compromise her financial security. And that's because when she was talking to her friends, they were sharing their challenges with their increasing expenses. In 
in talking with her parents and looking at various options, they came up with a solution that would give Tracy her independence and also the financial security that she wanted. I look forward to sharing their solution with you, so make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll talk to you soon, and have a great week.